The Stan is a simplified alternative to chess, where two players compete on a 6x6 grid with five pieces each. Each player has one Kotler, one Mirza, and then four standard pieces. The Kotler is a fortress, and the Mirza is a king. In order to move any piece on the board, you have to use what's called a move option. There are five different move options. Each one offers different ways you can move around the board. These options are placed into a queue and you can only pick from the first three options in the queue at a time. What are these options? Well, get ready. There's some excellent name choices coming up. We've got the Riot, the Chalkadar, the Forgedar, the Jazer, and my favorite name of them all, the Quirasia. The Riot is a peasant. It's your most basic move. You can move left, right, forwards or backwards by one space only. Chalkadar is a guard. This can move horizontally by two spaces, left or right. Or he can move diagonally by one space. Forgedar is a fort keeper. This guy stays in his lane. He can move one or two spaces but only horizontally. Jazer is a camel mounted swivel gun. Here's a visual representation of what that means. Looks a bit mad, but what's more mad are the movements that come with this option. When using the Jazer option, the player piece can move left or right by two spaces or forwards two spaces in any direction, i.e. straight or diagonally, or the piece can move backwards diagonally by one space. Finally, the Quirasia, which turns out to be a fancy name for a guy in armor holding a weapon. When you play this option, your player piece can move either forwards by one or two spaces, or your piece can take two steps, move horizontally two spaces, then forwards one. When playing the game, each player has a queue of five more options, and they should choose which one of these options they want to play. When making their move, if they land on the same square as one of their opponent's pieces, then their opponent's piece has been captured and is removed from the game. While there is a queue of five move options, the player can only select from the first three in the queue. However, if the player is not satisfied with the available move options, the game also has a move option offer. A player can choose to take this offer and replace one of their existing positions in the queue with it. A new offer will then be generated. At the start of the game, each player has a score of 100. This score decreases whenever a piece is moved. The decrease is determined by how close the move option was to the front of the queue. They also lose points by taking the move option offer. This is determined by the position of the move they replace. But all is not lost. The player can increase their score by capturing an opponent's piece or the opponent's Mirza. The player gets one point for each piece and five points for the Mirza. They also get points when one of their pieces is in the same square as a Kotler. Five points if it's their own Kotler and one point if it's their opponent's. Of course, the game ends when a Mirza is in the same place as their opponent's Kotler or they capture the opponent's Mirza. Whoever has the highest score at this point wins the game.